I'm going to let the fine people of YouTube hear some things I've heard in my dreams, visions, and meditations. Some of y'all might be getting in a car accident as I was hit on the left side. Something about a left side, left handed, left people, left brain, left side, left path. Here's some things I've heard in quotations. We didn't know she was in there. 101 Electric Avenue. There's medicine in the snakes. Mislead your enemies. My wife is trying to kill me. When you know someone is lying, but you can't say how you know. Go love her so she doesn't kill us all. That's a crazy bitch. Would you rebirth the crow that killed your family? I wished it was you. <laughs> I married her because she was the only woman. Imagine being mean and you're not even that good looking. Man, you guys ever hear that voice speaking to you when you're almost about to fall asleep and you're like, what the fuck is happening, bro? Y'all need to get the fuck on out of my head. But here you are, still there. And then you realize, like, oh shit. These motherfuckers been there my whole life, but I'm just now hearing them. Sounds like somebody gave you a hearing aid. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? I can hear. I was deaf, I was blind, I was dumb, and now I see. <laughs> Maybe it was Jesus. I hope it wasn't that same motherfucker that raped me. Because if it was, I'll kill you too, Jesus. I'll carve your fucking throat out. You know, like... I was bullied a lot in school. Were you guys bullied in school? Who's you guys? I don't really have an audience, but... You know what? Maybe if you see this, you'll relate. I had a bully in school. I remember this one time on the bus. I was on the school bus, and this gang of fuckers, they stole one of my shoes. And I had to walk home with one shoe, and I was sad, and I was crying. Now, if they had just given me the shoe back and said, Oh, we're just fucking with you, that would have been one thing. But they didn't do that. They took my shoe and I walked home with one foot bare. Now, if I could go back, I'd take a taser straight to the fucking temple of the ringleader. <laughs> but I'm not a kid anymore. I'm a fucking adult in hindsight's 2020. But I always think about how I wore these moccasins and they teased me. And my grandma told me, she said, you know what? They're just jealous. And I believed her. Boy, was she wrong. But nowadays I see those same little motherfuckers wearing moccasins. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the irony. <laughs> 